What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Ebony K. Williams really pissed off a lot of brothers in the community when she decided to comment on the fact that she could not date a bus driver. And naturally so, I mean, it, it, it would make sense. A woman of her statue at her level, she's a lawyer. Um, so I, I'm not really upset about that, but I believe it's kind of how she said it that really rubbed a lot of black men the wrong way uh, with kind of the kind of attitude that she kind of has. And of course, she's also been a very strong, um, you know, person that claps back in, on her positions. So it, it, you know, makes it easier for, for, for somebody to want to troll her or dislike her and all those things, right? She's just a very strong willed, I won't say strong, just a very strongly opinionated woman. And there was a time where she was really talking as if black men don't need black women. Remember that? Like we 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 can do this all by ourselves, right? And that's when the um the artificial insemination video started coming out. So you would hear Ebony K. Williams making videos like this, encouraging black women to get pregnant by themselves and become single mom. Black women are availing ourselves to all of the options that our hard work and circumstances currently afford us. And that means that single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. So anybody that's in their feelings about that can go ahead and start to process right now. Because black women that have the privilege to embark upon this expensive and oftentimes lengthy process will increasingly decide to forego marriages and partnerships that do not serve us and that are not in our best interests. And now that bypassing those insufficient relationships does not have to come at the expense of motherhood, well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose, because now we get to do the choosing. And as we choose, we do have to contend with the reality of a dismally small supply of black sperm. Because most black women on this journey, we wanna create children that look like us and that look like our families, and that means we want black sperm. And as we heard from Reese Brooks, it's the definition of slim pickings. And sometimes that means compromising on this aspect of your journey. Now, I am extremely fortunate that I was able to secure two vials of black sperm from California Cryobank when I embarked on this part of my journey last fall. But I do know that I am an outlier. So I've got two concrete tips for single black women who think this may be an option. So, so we would, we would hear those videos, all right? And we would hear those videos and then Ebony K. Williams started changing her tune a little bit. And this is what kind of caught black men by surprise because Ebony K. Williams allegedly did not like Kevin Samuels, all right? Didn't really like Kevin Samuels. And so now we see her on Stephen A. Smith, and then we see her talking like this. You brought up the black family before I let you get on out of here. You know, I, I, I made a suggestion that I thought would help the black family in the years. I you love know, this. And it's not just the black family, it's families all over the place. We were mm. talking about men and women, and, and somebody asked me a question, and I brought up a strong seven. And I said, if you're a man out there and you want to be happy, you want a strong seven. The 10, no, she's a 10, it's too much drama. Okay, the nine thinks she's a 10. That's too much drama. The eight already knows that she's probably a nine. So even though it's not as much Hilarious. drama, it's still going to cause you some issues. But the seven, the strong seven, yeah. knows that she's beautiful enough. She's smart enough. She brings enough to the table. Mm -hmm. But in the same breath, her ego is not out of control to the point where it will force your ego uh -huh. to infiltrate the proceedings and nothing gets accomplished. That was my argument for, for a strong seven. Ebony K. Williams, was I correct in my assessment? 
I, I, where is it? I vehemently agree with the strong seven argument. I'm but telling you, you vehemently why. what? I vehemently agree. Agree. That the strong agree. seven is best positioned. I'll go further. She's best positioned, Stephen A., um, to partner with uh, the, the, I don't want to say average. People get mad when I say average or mediocre. You know, they get real mad. There you go. Um, <laughs> she's best positioned to partner <laughs> with the majority of available. How about that? How the about majority that? of available men. And, and it's for all the reasons you said, and I actually identified this um, in my early 20s, like coming out of law, coming out of um, law school. And I realized that some of the things that, that myself and my uh, female counterparts um, were priding ourselves on, mm -hmm. um, being really, really well educated, being mm -hmm. very well accomplished, um, being pretty, but like pretty in a way that society deems is particularly valuable because we mm -hmm. know there's actual pretty and then there's kind of marketability, mm. if you will, like the kind of objective standard. And those things really just did not translate on the dating marketplace. And imagine how perplexed some of us were. Mm. Uh, but I, I said to my girlfriends long ago, I said, y'all, all of this nines and tens, um, we might be in that space, even eights. Um, it, it's not going to serve us the competitive advantage when it relates to our sisters, who I'm even going to say six and sevens. Mm. Why? Because you got to really look at what the market, and we're talking about, um, and this is through a hetero lens, of course, this is what men want. What do men really want, Stephen? I'm going to say some things, and I want you to confirm sure, or deny. Sure, sure, sure. I'll, I'll do that for you. I'll I do, do that for I you. Really, I really I'm, invite I'm, that. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I, I think men want um, to be affirmed. I yes. think men want energy that is agreeable. I think men mm. want, generally speaking. Generally speaking, gener yes. This is all general. Generally, generally speaking, I yes. I think men want women who are available. And what I mean by that is their schedules, their literal schedules. When I pull out my phone and you pull out yours, I, I, it's not three weeks. Oh, we're not taking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We this can, ain't Boomerang with Eddie Murphy. Now, this is a stark difference than what we're used to hearing her talk like, if we're going to be honest. This is a very stark difference. And I'm, I've noticed this also with Kendra G., this is another person who challenged Kevin Samuels, came on the stream, was hating. And do you know what? You see Kendra G holding women accountable. In some cases, if not worse, or even going harder than Kevin Samuels. So why is the change? I'm going to tell you it's twofold. Number one, the information is true, what they're saying. Okay? And I'm going to tell you another thing. There's a market for it. You see, guys, what you have not noticed is the deletion of the red pill community of men. Like, we still have guys who believe it, guys who don't believe in simping, but it's not as strong as it was before. Fresh and fit have been demonetized, you know. Um, I, I, Andrew Tate's off the internet for the most part. Sneeko, a lot of the guys' followings have, um, have vanished or went underground, right? So who's gonna fill that void? Somebody's gonna fill that void. So the way it's gonna work is, look, let women fill that void. And we've already seen evidence that men like red pill content from women. Look at, let's look at uh, Tyrese Gibson's wife, ex-wife. Now this is a lady who still has this guy on child support, all right? She has one of the most red pill female channels out there. Why? It's a check. All right? It's a check. Ebony K. Williams can get a following from this. Because it. Well, where's the money in telling women the same thing that all the other feminists tell them? That's already been done. We need some balance in the game. So if we can't get men as red pill creators, let's get the women on there. Right? The, uh, hey, listen. If Ebony K. Williams was to come out Really go hard on YouTube. She can hit 100,000 of followers. She can get to the bag. I mean, you see what these other guys are doing. Look at Stephen A. Smith. All they're doing is covering the black, the black, the black, the black site sector now. Guys, they, they, they have you noticed that all of the major guys are doing black sector stuff? It's so much money in the black sector. Okay? Stephen A. Smith got his podcast. He's trying to be like Shannon Sharp or very similar. You know, he's having nothing but black people on his show. It's, 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 it's very cultural to the community. It makes money, all right? And, and Ebony K. Williams is, 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 having, is, being, is being canceled off these other shows. Hey, why not own your own piece of the pie on YouTube? 
and get all your money. That could be a reason for her changing that. And the men will eat it up. Yes, they will. 100%. They will eat that alive. I'm telling you. They would love to do that. So that's the reason why they're still in Kevin Samuels talking points. Kendra G didn't like Kevin Samuels because of the money. Now she's blew up, quit her job as a radio host, buying more weeds and sandals than ever. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Shirley Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. We're out. Thank you.